Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to the debate on the supplementary budget. Mr. Speaker, I must applaud the finance committee, the budget, the, the budget committee, for this, because it is important that we actually get these supplementary budgets. This, but the government budget that actually drives the economy. It is the biggest financial supplier to the economy. So that if we have that uh, sorted out, we are okay. But as a speaker, the main objective of any economic activity, of anything, is the welfare of the people. It does not matter how good the policies are. It does not matter how sound they are and how pleasing they sound if the people do not feel it in their daily lives in the food they put on the table in the, the what they pay for energy that they use in their homes what they put in their cars what they pay for public transport what they feel in their health care what they feel in their education then whatever improvement is of no consequence. And I think the chair of the budget actually put it very clearly when he reduced it to the word economics of the pockets. It is at that level that we feel it. And therefore, when we do all these things, there will only be growth if people feel in their pockets that they can live. It does not matter. You must be able to wake up, get food on the table, travel on your matatu, get onto your border border. That is what matters. So when the issues that we are addressing in this country is to a large extent still the cost of living. We cannot run away from it. Whatever we do, that is the thing we must address. When we talk of debts, it is not fair when you are in government to keep blaming the first government. It, that, is why, that is why you are in government. Sort out the problems. Don't keep saying, this is the person who did this. Okay, that is, we have had that from the time of campaign. Now we want solutions. If the debts, we say they are rising, the debts can only rise if you are taking debts now. You can't then blame it on the past. Of all the things I've heard, we're talking a lot, I'm not an economist, we're talking a lot of paying debts. That is fair, so that we remain credible in, in, the, in, in, in the world of, of money. But I've never heard us talk about restructuring. I don't think as a country we can insist that we pay all the debts even if our children are dying. That is one thing I've never heard. I know the chair of budget is somebody who is very well grounded in economics, but I've never heard us talking about must we pay today even when our children are dying? Can't we say that this will put that? That I've never heard. Whether this is on purpose, I've heard it in many circles, but not when we are dealing with our issue. When we talk of increasing taxes so that we, we, we increase in rates so that we attract money from abroad, we must also realize that if the debts are increased, it has an effect on our economy. People cannot borrow here and actually get into business because of that. So there must be a very clear balance on that. The leader of majority actually made a very good statement that you, you reach an optimum level when you are talking about taxes or even the or even fuel. You will get increased revenue as the taxes go up, but you reach a point that actually now the revenue is reduced. I'm not Although we are saying that we have, we, have, we have not got the optimum level, we are getting there. But even today in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the media, we have reports that are indicating that we are collecting less, particularly for the areas where we are thinking from the taxes. So that is something that at this point we actually look at. These are simple, these are well-known facts. Even where we apply money, I, I actually am happy that we're applying money in education, in university, and so on. But I just want to get one point, and Mr. Mr. Speaker, I'll ask you to allow me to do this. How, when good policies, if not properly applied, 
actually cause a problem. I can see somebody wants to blame others for what is happening in the university. It is very simple. This funding is actually a good principle. It is how it was applied, the mechanics of implementing it. There are three. I'm telling you the interest.